in the open of a CLC, firstly we learn about the components of the CLC, menu bar, formula bar, formatting toolbar, standard toolbar, then workbook and the worksheet. Worksheet contains row, column and the cell. Then we learn about the how can you add it in the spreadsheet, selecting a via, via selecting cell, entering data, changing the cell contain, copying or moving cells. Then mute yourself. If you want to talk with your parent, you can remove from the class. Then we learn about the formatting cell, font color and the size, bold, italic and underline, then cell. Just mute yourself. Okay, then in the formatting cell, we learn about the cell alignment, wrap tags, format the cell with the different selling. Then we learn about the undo and the redo command. We also learn the shortcut key for that. Then we learn about the autofill that, generate, that is used for generating the series. For example, whenever you are writing a Monday, Tuesday, then it will be used for the autofill till Sunday. Lastly, we learn about the calculation in the CLC. There are the four function as an introduction base. We learn the sum, average, minimum and the maximum. Even we also learn the syntax of it, where we have to be used and why we are using this. So now let's solve the exercise. Question number one, fill in the blanks that you don't have to be write down in your notebook, that you have to only fill in the textbook. A, an application that can be used to organize numerical data in form of tables and perform the calculation on it is called as a blank application. Okay, sorry, I forgot. Okay, so what is the answer of A? Yes. 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 Answer of A spreadsheet application. B the blank is a fundamental element of worksheet. B the blank is a fundamental element of worksheet. What is the answer of B? Anyone? Huh? No. Whenever the question is like that, na, a blank is a fundamental element of workbook, that time answer is the worksheet. But here is the question is about the, here is the question about the element of worksheet, not for the workbook. So B answer is cells. So what are you doing whenever I telling the answer of A? Mute yourself first. Answer of A spreadsheet answer. I, I will be not repeat the answer again. Answer of B cell. Who is moving from here to here? Sarah, just mute yourself. Otherwise, leave the class. Please don't disturb us. C. A workbook is a collection of blank. A workbook is a collection of blank. What is the answer? Yes, answer is the Answer of C, worksheets, A answer, spreadsheet, B, cell, C, worksheets, D, the blank cell format displayed the content of cell in the exponentials, exponential notation, answer A, scientific, Write down the answer of D, scientific.
E. In open office CLC, the blank feature is used to fill a series of numbers such as 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. In office, open office CLC, the blank feature is used to fill a series of numbers such as 2, 4, 6, 8. Answer is autofill. Remember, autofill is always used for the fill the series. Whenever the word is there, write down the answer, the autofill. Now, question number two. What is the spreadsheet list it uses? Request to everyone, open the page number 13. Answer is on the page number 13. Already the definition is given it, the underline it on the page number 13. A answer is on the page number 13. A spreadsheet is an application in the form of the grid or the table that organizes data into the rows and columns. With it also given the use, it is used to organize the manipulate and perform the calculation on numerical data. That's it. That is the answer of A. In the question number 2, that is the answer of A. Question number B. Differentiate between the workbook and the worksheet. Open the page number 15, 1, 5. Open the page number 15. One five for the B. Open the page number one uh, fifteen. Already the workbook and worksheet definition is given to you. Just write down the definition of both. No need to write down the full detail. When open office CLC start the file open, that open, that is called as a workbook. But a workbook contains many worksheets. That is the answer of B. On the page number 15. Do one thing, write down the page number in front of the question because you have to be write it by yourself. C. List the types of data that can be entered in the CALC. Open the page number 16. Open page number 16. Three types of data you can enter. Strings or text, numbers and formulas. Open the page number 16. Now, D. Which feature of OpenOffice ELG should be used for the following? First, to display the content in the multiple lines in the same cell when it exceeds the width of cell. To display the content in the multiple lines in the same cell when it exceeds the width of cell. Answer is rep text. W R A P T E X T rep text. Second, to display a series of values such as Monday, Tuesday, and so on in the selected range of cell. Here the word is there range of cell, and we have to be display the series of values. So answer is the autofill. In our D, first answer, rep text. Second answer, autofill. <clears throat> now, E, 
observe the following CLC worksheet and answer the following questions. There is a one table is given to you in the please change the spelling of exam one. There is a, a by mistake N is written there. Now, okay. Cell address of Rekha. Here we have to be fine for the Rekha. Cell address of Rekha. It's a A14. A14. Answer is A1414. Which cell, address, cell format? should be used for student id everyone have to be remember the cell format there are the seven types of cell formats numbers currency date time percentage fraction scientific and the text so which cell format is used for student id you can see here there is a no currency is there there is a no date no time it's not in form of percentage, it's not in form of fraction, it's not in form of scientific, even it's not a text. So, second answer is number. First answer A14, second answer number. Now, third, which function should be used to find the total marks of a card in exam 1 and 2? Exam 1 and 2 total marks we have to be fine. And we know that for the total we are using the function sum. So, you have to be write down the answer equals to sum in a bracket. C13 semicolon D13 equals to sum in a bracket C13 semicolon D13. Fourth, specify the cell range of selected area. Selected area means you can see here the red is a highlighted. That is the selected area. You have to be write down the cell range of selected area. Means from where to 87. That is A16 to C16. So your answer is a16 colon colon means two dots to c16 a16 to c16 i will be share this photo to you in a group if you are unable to understood now Again, I will. I am going to repeat the answer of E from first cell address of Rekha A14. Cell format of student ID number function used for the total equals to sum C13 semicolon D13. Fourth, specify the cell range of selected area A16 to C16.
F first A go to the next column which keyboard key is used for the go to the next column yes answer is tab tab actually this thing you have to be filled your by yourself that is okay now go tab T A B tab key can tab nothing find out yourself आपने पूरा चैप्टर पढ़ा है ना तो आपको क्यों नहीं आ रहा क्यों आपने ध्यान नहीं दिया था चैप्टर जब चल रहा था जिसको आता है उसकी बात नहीं कर रही हूँ मैं जो बोल रहा है ना क्या 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 उसकी बात हो रही है जो जान बुझ के भी कर सकता है नाउ सेकेंड गो टू नेक्स्ट रो गो टू नेक्स्ट यस आंसर इज द एंटर I will be take at at the last. I will be not take in the between or the starting. Very good. You are disturbing. That's why this will be happen. Enter a new line in a same column. Tell me the answer first. Huh? Sorry. What do you say? Can you please ag alter? You have to say not A L T. It's a alter. Alter. Enter key. Okay, now G. Which cell format? In the C A L C should be used to display the number as found below. First, e eight point six E plus zero one. What is the cell format? It's a scientific. Write down first. And B dollar eighty. What is the cell? Yes, it's a currency. Now, student who have a computer and laptop, they will be perform the lab activity. The student who don't have a laptop, I don't ask who have or who don't have. Who have, they will be perform the lab activity. Student who don't have a laptop or computer, they will be watch the previous video and try to understand the lab activity. They will be arrange the step which step they have to be follow. Kal. You are disturbing every time. First scientific, second currency. Why you need the answers? I don't get it. No students who are telling. Them. 